I remember um, the, the art college was one of those places where lots of daft things happened, and I, and lot, you know, the, there's a kind of teacher-student sarcasm going on all day long. So I thought I'd like to make a joke board game, and I called it confusion because we all were, you know, very confused. And uh, I decided to uh, to make it a bit like sort of Monopoly. So you just go around the board. I got into trouble for it a few times because some of the teachers that were on there didn't want to be on there. <laughs> We had this really old Welsh teacher with a couple of hearing aids, and he was a lovely bloke, but um, he could never understand what you were saying to him. And he used to wander around the classroom and say, oh, hey, hello, hey, sorry, hey, and then just wander off again, And for which he got paid a, a princely sum per year. Head of department recognises your existence. That was Tony Messenger, who was a real character. He looked like Oliver Reed, and he was a real curmudgeonly sort of chap in a, a beard and a big leather jacket that used to sort of storm around the studio growling at people he, he's in there as well Don Besant was uh, a Londoner and he went out with Julie Christie uh, the famous actress and they were all into jazz and booze and they used to sort of drink and play jazz records all day long there was a, there was a character there called Howard I remember who uh, had a reputation for moving into people's flats and then he hated cats, so if they had a cat, he'd take the cat for a walk and you'd never see it again. Attend interview, if you're a girl, advance two squares. That, uh, that was very true of the time, especially with the, the jazz booze department. You know, sometimes when, you, when you're at a college and they have a really good year, like a year that they always remember forever and ever, I just happen to be in that year of students, so it's kind of very sentimental to me now. You know, even 30-odd years on, still the best time I ever had in my life.